What's up, guys? This is the uh, the Devo for Don't Eat Dog Food. Uh, the scripture it's based off of is uh, in Hebrews 12. There's this passage that talks about uh, discipline, loving discipline, embracing discipline. And so I start off by telling this story about how my son uh, loves to eat dog food. He's this, this little kid, and he just crawls over the dog dish, and he's always eating the dog food. And it's just really, really a disgusting habit. Uh, but then as a parent, I also know it's a, uh, it's a dangerous habit, that he could choke on the dog food, and in choking, he could die. Uh, and so I was uh, one day kind of faced with this choice where I'm telling him, hey, don't eat the dog food. Don't eat the dog food. And he, kept go he keeps going back to the dog food, wanting to eat it. And so eventually I had to discipline him. And uh, it was painful for him. It stunk for me. I didn't like it. And uh, but what, then what ended up happening is now when he goes back to want to eat the dog food, I'd say, don't eat the dog food. You'll get in trouble. And so now what happens is he'll look at it. He'll look at me. And then he doesn't eat the dog food. It, it's worked. And I had to discipline him to show him love because if I didn't love him, I would just let him eat the dog food and eventually he would choke and maybe die. And so out of love for him, I don't want him to do that. And so and we look at this passage in Hebrews that you know talks about discipline, how the Lord disciplines us. And I think sometimes he chooses to discipline us through our parents. And so we look at this passage and I, I, my, my plea to you guys, what I'm hoping that you guys will get out of this devotional is that you'll see the attitude behind discipline. That if a, if a parent rightfully and justly disciplines, where they're not disciplining every little thing, that they're not all of a sudden uh, you don't eat all your dinner and so now you get spanked and you get beat and you... Uh, you are now uh, grounded for three years because you didn't, you know, like when, when their punishments are just and when they're good and when, you know, your parents are fair in how they discipline, we should embrace it because it's them showing us love. It's them, you know, doing something for our best interest. Uh, so I, I would hope that we would have the attitude that discipline can be a good thing. Uh, and then secondly behind, you know, that attitude portion of it is I think sometimes we have the tendency, we have... Uh, the our flesh would look at other people that don't have discipline in their homes and say, oh man, I wish I lived in that home. He can get away with anything. If he doesn't do his homework, his parents don't care. If he gets a bad grade, his parents don't care. If he does drugs, his parents don't care. Oh man, I wish I lived in that house. See, the attitude behind that though is is a fleshly one. It's one that says, you know what? I want to do bad things. I want to be able to sin and get away with things. So I want to live in that house where there is no discipline. I hate my house because there is discipline and my parents expect good for me, expect the best for me, expect me to, in essence, live like Jesus, which is what we should all want to do. And so I was, I'm hoping that through the devotional, through maybe even this, just this video, that you guys will look at discipline, see it from your parents' perspective, see it from God's perspective, and embrace it and have a good attitude behind it so that you ultimately will want to use discipline, know that it, its intent is to make you better. Its intent is to make you more like Jesus. It's out of love. There's so much love behind discipline, even though at the mo in the moment it may not feel like it. Uh, so I hope you guys got a lot out of that. Uh, thanks for watching this. And uh, hit me up if you guys ever need anything. This is the Devo again for Don't Eat Dog Food. Thanks. Peace. Bye.